Now, guys, my life is a, it's just a complete and utter mess. You know, it, it's a piece of shambles and when a man wants to look at the horrors he has enacted through complacency, he's got to take an honest and hard view about himself and what's at fault. And I'm ready to admit that all my problems are because of RimWorld. Yep, it's RimWorld. RimWorld's at fault here. It's ruined my entire life. And now I'm going to make this video to spread awareness about the dangers of this, well, the Devil's Dwarf Fortress, so to speak. You know that you've become addicted to a game when it's got to load at least 12 mods for your most vanilla playthrough. So 24 out of 3,814 files being installed just for the mods. You might want to get a cup of hot Milo for this one because uh, she's going to be quite the beauty of a story. Have a good yarn about the way that my Rim world has ended. I've been playing a lot of Rim World, and um, let's just say the results of my playing have. Let's just say I'm a bit excessively into the end game. Let us find out why my schedule is non existent on my YouTube channel and uh, why my life sucks. Because this has taken everything from me. If I had a wife, it would have taken my wife. If I had kids, I would not have rights to see them. If I had money, I would not have money anymore. That's how much it could have theoretically debilitated my life if I had one to begin with. Let us see here. This is, this is what I've been doing on my little sea ice biome, yeah? Just, just a little bit of rim welding. Nothing too spectacular. For... Who's, our, who's our major break risk? Vincent, you're not even one of mine. Shut up. You're fucking stoned, cunt. It all started with this, this little fella here, Wally. -E. Don't mind his uh, cannibalism. Um, he's, got, he's got a good heart, you know, heart of iron spirit and courage, to quote my school song. He's a bit of a fast runner, yeah? Um, <laughs> he started, I started the game, he was 15, he's now 48. What a rocker. Look at how many unstable power cells. These things are pretty rare to get, you can't just build them. I have, what, how many? 36 of them. Plus... Four Venometrics. Currently in the process of building the largest fucking sh second largest ship on Earth. My first playthrough, I did make a pretty massive ship. Look at my animals, right? It's just an army of Arctic foxes that I've trained to haul. It's like that video of that woman who has a bunch of pet foxes for some reason. I just, you know, that on steroids. In, in total, uh, I've had, throughout this playthrough, at least 388 pet arctic foxes. And yet, I am still not able to clean my room, because I am a weak man who indulges in his primitive needs, such as RimWorld and frozen pizza. I also own multiple thrombos who are all pregnant as well, as you do. This is my workshop, fellas. Works out pretty good. They're making some pretty um, average parkers out of um, target material, we'll call it, and uh, smeltery, because, um, there's nothing in the sea ice biome except for some reason a mechanoid cluster next to a dead thrombo, as as is normal. 
Uh, so you gotta have to smelt everything down, including weapons. 5200 watts of power. Just, just to grow food so I don't starve. Got a giant empty hallway here. I have designed, I have assigned zero purpose for it. Got a prison where we reduce the resistance of prisoners to train people's social skills and then set them free. And if they decide to escape, we shoot them dead. As you do. Here's a butchery room, um, empty at the moment. Usually full of wonderful meat of uh, a certain persuasion. <laughs> Oh, someone's birthday. Oh, it's Green's birthday. What happened to Green? Oh, he's got a bad back. That's not a problem. F just give him a new spine. Yeah, now, now you got a new spine. Just, um... I, I legitimately have so much, so much human leather. I cannot select it all. So I got... 35,531 units of human leather. So many corsets made out of human skin. Beautiful. F I love this game. It's ruined my life. It's turned me into a f***ing cannibal. Yeah, I'm just uh, making, making floors. Good job, guys. I'm very sad for the fallen. Um, I, I, I can't remember... Who Lloyd was. The sarcophagus is engraved with the artwork of Jin Captain Hay, practicing shooting skills with a bored expression. Six ethereal spirits of ancient masters watch from above. If you squint your eyes, the square composition of this image reveals the outline of eight circles. Almost every shape in the image seems to be unbalanced. This illustration relates to Captain becoming a master at shooting tasks on the 14th of December, 1532. Anyway, and now for the in-game lore speak. Let's have a look at what RimWorld is like in action. Because having a random Australian dude in a free shirt he got from a tour once and wearing a very poor quality and tall hoodie is the exact thing you guys need to watch at whatever time it is, probably 3am for you guys. So, get up your Milo and have a cup of Yorkshire tea or whatever. Actually no, I'm just going to get my, my sniper to do the job. He's already OG. Come on fam, going to go this way. And you're going to f***ing snort the cat. Sorry, let, let me use a little bit more acceptable language for you yanks or whatever. We're going to smite their pussy. The game is literally so slow that it it's aiming to go at a speed of 900 the game, but the fastest it can go is 50. That's how much I have played this game to death. If you've got hypothermia, mate, then get out of the fucking ice. These collars. Bloody stupid. Shoot him. And... Pow! Oh, I've woken up the horde. Alright, how are we going to approach this? Wow, 79%. Yeah, it's nice having a legendary quality sniper rifle, I'm just saying. Alright. Orders and battle stations, people. So it's just a bit of a mod, you see. Makes life easy. Ba 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 ba. Okay, let's get them animals inside, shall we? Oh, Natox, actually. Just annoy them. Move. This is what the kids call a kill box. And this person is uh, suicidal, it seems, because they're in the middle of the said kill box. Alrighty. Now that's closed up. There we are. In RimWorld, 
Age is just a number. I'm not kidding. One time in my original colony, I had this 80 year old dude and a trade caravan rocked up like five years after having this dude and one of the people there was was 13 years old and a former lover of my 80 year old colonist. And before you guys call the cops, I would like to make the defense that cryosleep does exist so it may be possible that it was a childhood girlfriend and one was just in cryosleep and the other wasn't. But like, there's some dodgy grounds there. What the hell are you hitting that? Go. See if you can do a bit of sniping. Yeah, this is how killbox works. People don't like killboxes in the world. I love them. They're the only thing that makes me even more decently adequately equipped. Can't play Rimworld without a good Oh my fing god, Sammy, you suicidal little how am I supposed to protect you guys if you keep running face first into a f***ing box of death? In fact, Sammy, Sammy, get some EMPs and be helpful. Okay, that had the opposite of the desired effect. Sort of. And that's how battles go in RimWorld. You just put them in a box and then incinerate them. It's basically cremation in real time. If that thing explodes, that'd be nice. Because uh, that fire, if that gets on Netox, he's f***ed. Because then he's just going to go... That's my artistic rendition. But yes, this generally not normal. This is not healthy behavior. This is not good. It's not good for your health as a man or a woman. Just generally as an individual, this is not good healthiness. This is not how one wants, should ideally spend their time on earth. This, this this is what Midnight Oil mean when they say wasting away in paradise. I swear, if you ask them, there'll be a quote in a magazine somewhere long, long ago, back in whenever Midnight Oil existed, I assume the Roman era, just saying, ah uh, yes, our inspiration for that uh, line in that song, wasting away in paradise, came from when they witnessed people playing RimWorld and wasting a lot of time on that game. Still happy in spite of having a crushed kidney, as you do, I guess. Oh, that was close. Yeah, that resolves those problems. I'm not gonna lie guys, I am getting pretty hot in this hoodie. It is not winter time and I do live in Australia. It actually makes no sense why I'm wearing this. Decent locust armor, 15% health unfortunately, but you live what you got, you got. Go smash that thing. Look at the damage. Oh crap. Look at me run away like a scared little bitch. Pow. Whoops. Good thing he's got a shield belt. But that thing's not gonna last forever. Just, uh, yeah, that's why fire sucks. doing a lot of damage to his poor armor, which is nearly destroyed. Alright. Yep, just uh, smash this thing. Let's 
just his torso and his left leg, which means he has moved to 97 cent, but so it goes. He's still very, very strong dude. That was not the intended outcome. Fortunately, I think because he had a shield belt it didn't do anything. I don't know. safe down there in the middle. Oh yeah. Except, you know, I gotta, I gotta, I can't really do much here except a uh, wall raise. Now use me fancy soy powers to block, block the exit, yeah? Oh, I, uh, oops, uh, attack there. taken a couple of hits there, mostly to the legs. As long as he doesn't take a bolt to the knee, he'll be G. There is no knees in the world. Oh. And off to the fly with the Concords. Pow! And that is why RimWorld is addictive and ruining my life. Just doing that 24-7. It, it, it's what gives me joy, and that's a not a good thing. You know what should give me joy? 16 hours of hard labor. I hope you enjoyed my uh, meandering into madness as I quickly and hastily make a Wednesday video before Wednesday happens. A quite impossible feat, mind you. Ciao.